Okay, guys, we're going to be checking out a super crazy knife today. That's going to be the Microtech Stitch. This is probably one of the craziest knives I own. I really love it. It's got a really, really crazy blade. As you can see, we'll really definitely get into that. It's a super chunky beast. I mean, look at that thing, man. Um, yeah, this is going to be an automatic knife. First of all, not going to be legal for everybody. whole bunch of different states. I not only uh, restrict blade length, but also... Uh, the mechanism, right? So this is going to be a push-button automatic or switchblade. Check your local laws. Check your city and state laws before you even think about pulling the trigger on one of these babies. Okay, so yeah, starting off. So this is going to be based from Microtech Knives, which is a U.S. production knife company. They are super well-known. They make a whole bunch of knives called OTF knives or out-the-front knives. And you've probably seen them where it has a switch right here. And it goes like, right? And uh, it's like a John Wick knife seen a whole bunch of movies this is a side out the side automatic so it's going to be a little bit different but they definitely didn't cut back on the quality and craftsmanship of this thing this thing's amazing so i'm going to start off i'm going to do a quick size comparison uh let's do the protec malibu i do that because like literally everybody talks about this knife constantly there's that one and let's do the spider co yojimbo 2 I obviously I use this one so you like see like my denim jeans stain on it. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, let's also do it with a Hinder XM18. I do that because I will bring this in because uh, the price point. We'll get into that soon. So uh, let's talk about the materials real quick. We have an M390 blade, which if you don't know, that's the European uh, uh, company Bowler. Bowler's M390. Which is basically the brother and sister of CPM 20, C or not brother and sister, clone of CPM 20 CV, which is a super high edge retention blade steel, super high corrosion resistance, and fairly fairly easy at sharpening. I say that because I've actually sharpened 20 CV, and it's not as bad as people say. It's actually sharpens up pretty good, pretty impressed with it. So yeah, this is going to be M390, basically 20CV, CTS, or Carpenters, 204P, same thing. Basically, super close compositions. Anyway, that was pretty nerdy, but you know, that's what we do. So, uh, let's see. Right now, the blade, as you can see, I do have just the regular stone wash. Now, this is a really, really cool wash that they have done. Uh, I really like Microtech stone wash. It's super, super heavy. I'll compare it real quick with uh, Protex. See, Protex is a little little finer. doesn't have all the different scratches in it as much as this. This has definitely has heavier scratches, heavier um, marks from the stone wash. Pretty cool. It's still reflective, though, so it's still kind of polished. Uh, pretty cool. I do have the fully serrated model. This knife does come in a plain edge, just so you know, so you have that option. I personally like the serrations a lot better. Looks like a barbarian, awesome, cool shark knife. I don't know. It looks so, so cool with the serrations. I like serrations. I think they're really cool. Um, so yeah, serrations here. We do have a little bit here out the tip of a plain edge. Pretty cool for piercing tasks, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, your your uh, handle material is going to be based off this super tough... I do not remember the model number of the aluminum, but it's, it's a really high-grade aluminum that Microtech is using. And they do a phenomenal job with it. It's super sturdy. Aluminum is known to be pretty, pretty strong and pretty light. But I got to tell you, because these thick slabs of titanium, this knife is not too light. It's actually on the heavier side. But I got to be honest, it really adds to the character of this knife. Um, super overbuilt. I mean, that's the name of the game here. Super overbuilt. Super high quality. Super nice. Everything's extra big. Extra... America, you know, super awesome. Really, really, really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm going to flip it to this side. As you can see, we have some pretty big screws here. I think these are like T12 size, if I'm not mistaken. The rest is T10. Uh, torque screws, pretty, really, really nice. Be pretty easy to take apart. Pocket clip here, it's okay. It has this weird like double bill thing going on. That's probably my least favorite part of the knife, but you know, it does the trick. Pretty cool. Still pretty overbuilt looking. So yeah, we also have this huge 
uh, cutout here. It's made out of the Borka Blades uh, micro uh, stitch uh, design, but Microtech collaborated with them. That's why you see the Borka Blade symbol here. And I forgot about this. We have a really nice, uh, almost kind of like a triangular, almost pyramid texturing. And we have a little bit here, not on the pocket clip, which is really cool. So if you're taking it in and out of your pocket, it's not going to scratch it up because this aluminum is really fine, really nice. Really nice. Um, so yeah, with the texturing where you need it, the knife is kind of contoured. So it's going to really fill out your hand. And dude, you have a lot of room on this thing. You have some back here. You have some up here. And you have this massive cutout here, this huge harpoon notch with jimping, and a huge finger uh, spot, finger choil basically, up here. Yeah, finger choil. And it's also a stop for the blade, so your finger doesn't go over the blade, right? Pretty cool. Um, so let's talk about the action, which is basically the elephant in the room. Dude, this is probably the hardest firing automatic I've ever felt. It, it is strong. The first time I... I looked at it at the shop I went to. Yeah, I almost it almost fell out of my hand, man. Like it almost like whoosh, you know, kind of boomeranged out. But this thing's um, like I literally fell in love with it the first time I opened it. And I was like, yeah, I must have this. And that's probably why you're watching this video is because this knife's interested you. We have this really nice backspacer, forgot to mention that. I believe this is actually a titanium backspacer. Yeah, look at look, look at the size of that standoff. And the plunge lock. Guys, this thing has no blade play. This this plunge lock, look at this. Right? Watch. That plunge lock is insane. Yeah, guys, this knife is so cool. Um so yeah, let's talk about availability real quick. Um before I get more into how it carries and all that. Availability, I believe they have some on GP knives right now. They do have the serrated model. Um, and they do have this variation, the black aluminum and the full stone wash for about $433. So this is definitely going to be a high-end production knife. Definitely high-end production price, right? Um, very close. This is why I brought it in earlier to the Hinder XM18. Coming at $425. So you definitely have some similarities there. Um, so yeah, back to this knife. Uh, the way it carries is really nice. As you can see, it's not going to be ideal because it's going to be pretty heavy. I think it's, I think it's 5.6 ounces if I'm not wrong. And it's going to be pretty wide. Let's next to the Malibu. Pretty wide. It's going to be kind of like your Yojimbo 2. A little bit. Yeah, see that's, they're actually pretty similar. In, uh, not girth, but width, right? So yeah, pretty cool. Um, guys, this knife is just so cool. I mean, that's literally why you're probably going to buy it too. It was oriented for, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, law enforcement and tactical applications. But don't get me wrong, plenty of people have used their Microtech stitches and they've lasted. In fact, uh, speaking of that, the longevity and strength, the, the Microtech has done has proven that their, their autos, their other side autos, can fire underwater, no problem. And so that's why uh, a lot of military guys like these. A lot of law enforcement guys like these. They're just so doggone um, versatile. So doggone tough. Uh, there was a destruction video I watched of a, or a test destruction video on an LUDT uh, from Microtech. And the guy beat the Moses out of it, right? And that thing just still fired. He put it in sand. He put rocks in it. He put it underwater, like threw it around, stomped on it. And the thing fired just like that afterwards. Pretty cool, guys. So you can really trust this one. I definitely trust it. It's going to be a lot thicker than the LUDTs. A lot thicker, a lot heftier. Uh, look, I mean, look at the blade stock on the thumb ramp. It goes to that really... It has definitely a distal taper. It tapers down to that really, really wicked point. Really cool. So your piercing tasks would be not only easy, but look at Reinforced. Right, because the grind goes all the way through to the tip. So you have a lot of reinforcement, reinforcing steel here. In the slice, dude, this thing is so sharp. Let me get some paper. This is the serrated model, right? Oh, serrations don't cut. 
kidding me, man? Dude, this is like literally a lightsaber on steroids. Yeah, a lightsaber on steroids. Let's just go with that. Conan the Barbarian's pocket knife, right? Pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, guys, um, I gotta say, this knife's 10 out of 10. It's amazing. Really will shine in your collection. It is up there with your hinderers. It is up there uh, almost approaching uh, small Sabenzas from CR CK. Oh my gosh. Chris Reeves knives. Let's just do that. <laughs> it's going to be go along really well with your collection. Um, it really popped when I threw it in with my hinderers and stuff. It just, it just really pops. And guys, honestly, if we're collectors, most of us are collectors. I highly recommend this knife. Everything's well about it. It carries pretty well considering it's going to be kind of bulky in the pocket. This way, this way. And, you know, it's hefty, overbuilt. But, you know, we see so much slim knives nowadays. You don't get really a whole bunch of overbuilt knives. That's what makes this knife truly shine. And the fact that Microtech is still making them, still pumping them out, um, is a fantastic. As I forgot to show you this part. Uh, this is from February this year, 2022. That's when it was made. That's the serial number. USA, kind of a big stamping. You know, honestly, I kind of like the stamping. I know it's a lot. It looks like a billboard. But for some reason, it just really works on this knife. Everything works on this knife. Ergonomics are just so good. Like, so good. Like, it kind of reminds me of the Spyrical Shaman a little bit. But like a super overbuilt, apocalyptic, you know, barbarian... I don't know other words I could throw at it. <laughs> has a lot of different words and stuff. But anyway, guys, I'm um, kind of rambling at this point. This is really nice. I highly recommend it. Super overbuilt, super nice. Go and get yours. Uh, they still have them at GP Knives. I believe they have some on eknives.com. Um, I'm not getting paid for this, just so you know. I just, I'm telling you where to find them, and I highly recommend you get them before other people do because these things are super popular, super sought after. Uh, guys, go and get this thing. This thing's amazing. Uh, have a great one, guys. Take care.